Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another Madden 22 franchise video. Today we're bringing the Chargers. We are currently 7-0 after uh, a close... Nah, I'm joking. That's a forced win, 16-14. I can't believe how low of a game they made that, but well, it's whatever. Um, so let's just go ahead and get through these menu things, and then let's get into the game. So start off a weekly strategy as usual. Here's everybody we're upgrading. All right, now let's go ahead and get everybody upgraded. So for Herbert, I'm going to do Field General because my goal is to get Hot Route Master for Herbert. I don't know how I do it. He might have to become a X Factor for all I know. Hopefully I can get that for him. But even last time I, I played with the Chargers, it wasn't, it wasn't really like, like I don't know, like I feel like like I'm broke. I was leading the league in passing yards, and I never got a, a, a dev game for him. So who knows? Anyways, let's just go ahead and and hit these upgrades for everybody. My man Bosa. Okay, so here's what the league is looking like. We can take a, an actual accurate look at everything since no one's played their game yet. I'm not leading the league in nothing. But we are undefeated, and that's what matters more than anything. Um, and it looks like we are the only undefeated team in the league right now. Unless there's a, a team that's undefeated that has a bye week at the moment, we're it. Um, so that's cool. Um, I mean, we did win the Super Bowl last season, so we better be this high. Um, thing is, uh, the Chiefs is still uh, seven and one, so it ain't no slouch. That's, that's gonna be my biggest comp right there. He he's really good at this game. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at his team, the Jags. He has Ben Roethlisberger. Excuse me? Why doesn't he have Trevor Lawrence? Oh, this is why you're... Like, why do you have Jamal Agnew on the bench, bro? Like, what is this? Pass rush, non-existent. He has JPP. Look at this. He has all of his good players on the bench. Tyson Campbell, I mean, there you go. Slot wide receiver. Nope. Sub linebacker. Jeez. He has to kill Griffin in the slot cornerback position. Oh my gosh. That's just terrible. So that means he goes to the slot and then these two are the outside guys. So I can basically just throw over number eight's head. Good to know. Uh, well, all right. Let's go ahead and get into the game. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Jamal Agnew now to return it. Now a crease here as he's past the 30.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. And right away, they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Play action, now Roethlisberger going for the deep ball into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So, Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level, 7-0. And we're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere and the dermatologist was on speed dial, but I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media, we'll start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. And, and he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. To return, here's Agnew. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Three and five is where they sit on the year. A very uneven start is certainly not an ideal position to be in at the halfway point of the season. At a CD, do you see an avenue where they can still be a playoff team, or is that ship sail? Well, since you took me to the nautical side, I'm going to try and keep up here because to me, this ship is about ready to pull out of port. These next couple of games are absolute must wins for them. Now, if they can win a couple, get to five and five. Maybe they start believing in themselves, but a loss here, that would move them to three and six. And if that's the case, well, that boat is going to head out to the harbor with them still on the dock. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. On third down, they go Montgomery. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. 
And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. Here's second and ten. Here's Herbert. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside, nice steady gain. It sound right, boys. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now it's Herbert. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. On first and 10, Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. A good position to be in here, second and inches. On the option, here's Eckler. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They try and run on first down, but this one's going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 12, Herbert throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Herbert. And that is incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And this one is right down Broadway. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here, and it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10 zip. Let's go. 
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Well, this defense for the Chargers, they were very good last week in the win over New Orleans. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Roethlisberger. Flushed out right. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. Montgomery, they'll run for it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. We should mention, to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Jalen Guyton with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And yeah, that makes our score 17-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Roethlisberger. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. Picked off by Michael Davis. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Three first-half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first. And all the way in 
for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chargers are able to add on to their first half lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And some dangerous territory, You're already down three scores. A three and out here, or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're gonna get all these points back on one drive, you're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And good pursuit yet again by the Chargers as they stuff him behind the line. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. Now the ball comes loose and picked up by the Chargers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. So, partner, that play broke huge. And when you can get a guy into the open field after the catch, he does actually turn into a running back. But in this case, that's not his role. No, not, not, not ultimately, because he didn't do what? He didn't secure the football. And if he had done that, that play would have been spectacular. Instead, he turns it over. Yeah, a big play, all for none. Try and run for it on first and goal. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, we look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. Yeah, they went with the elusive, slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now Herbert, third and goal. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And this Chargers offense continues to pour it on. Extra point splits the uprights. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Roethlisberger. And this will be caught by Mooney. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 
never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Again, it's Roethlisberger. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. A first down and then some for Montgomery. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone but could not hang on. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Final play of the half, it's Roethlisberger. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And this will be recovered by the offense, but it will be of little importance now as time has expired here in this first half. So we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Who? You and me, trying to get to the airport. <laughs> the roads would be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 87 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. And he will score. Touchdown, L.A. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. To return, here's Agnew. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Oh, yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now Roethlisberger. High throw, but the catch is made. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Ben to throw again. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. A second and 10 forthcoming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And it's incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. They come up to the line now, facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. 60 Mavericks, 60 Mavericks. 49, 49 the mic, 49 the mic. I got one, I got one, I got one. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. He wants it all for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And the Chargers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right yeah, now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. 105 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a 1,000-yard campaign. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second down, Eckler, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The Chargers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and two. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On is the Chargers punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. 
but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Here's Roethlisberger. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 26. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. On second and 15 now, Herbert. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, your goal gets through, and now an opening. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. It's Eckler again. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Oh, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Roethlisberger will throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Charger drive about to get going. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance in this one. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. 
Option play, and they'll give to Eckler. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for the Chargers, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll get another road day next week as their opponents will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, their season is on life support somewhat now at three and six. And they're gonna get an extra week to stew over this as they're not back in action until week 11. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. All right, so we got another shutout under our belts. Gotta love it. We played a really good game. I expect nothing less uh, from a guy who's three and five. Um, no upsets around here. You feel me? Uh, so 43 to zero win. We are currently sitting eight and zero. Let's check out the negotiations real quick. Okay, Derwin James, absolutely, you're staying. Oh, and he wants a six-year contract. He wants a bigger bonus. That boy wants so much money. And you're going to get it, bro. Don't you worry. Who else do I need to resign? Uh, that's the most important people. I'm, I mean, these, these three are important too. So let's. Okay, awesome. Glad to have him back for one more year. Don't got to worry about my right tackle. Joseph, can you stay for one year? Awesome. Tranquil. Can you stay for three years, bro? Cool. Okay, so we're, we're good. Okay, hold on, my center. Can you stay for one year, bro? Awesome. Okay, cool. I don't know if I need anyone else, uh, but Derwin Dreams. He just wants a little bit bigger bonus. That dude wants so much money, man. And Herbert's going to want more money. Eckler's going to want more money. Like, it's a lot. Uh, okay, let's let's spend these franchise points real quick. Staff points. Uh, so we want to get this. So definitely... I'm going to do all of these because I want my my defense to, to upgrade the fastest. I feel like that's always the most important thing. If my defense can hold the line, like I feel like the comeback game that I had recently uh, in my Colts Fantasy League was just further proof of just how important it is to have a really good defense. Because I was able to hold that. I was, he was up like 24 to something and I was able to hold him. So defense is important. Eckler's balling out. Uh, we're not leading the league in picks or anything like that, but we are leading the league in wins, and that seems way more important. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Definitely smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That I uh, much appreciate it. Comment below if there's anything else you'd like to see on the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.